All right, guys, so I was just doing this little quick video for you. Um, this is, you know, the rust bucket. You can see I took it out and I ran it today. Uh, I'm not getting into too much uh, about it. Just something I ran into when you're, if, if you're following this build um, and you're, sorry, I had to get a drink of coffee, um, and you're kind of maybe looking at doing something like this, um, I bought, this is the RC four-wheel drive, uh, the bumper. Um, I worked on this thing like all day Saturday. Um, getting the winch and stuff mounted uh, on the bumper. And there's some things I want to go over. Um, if you guys are thinking about, you know, getting this bumper uh, for it. Uh, it's, it is a nice bumper. It is, it's, it's heavy, especially once you put the 8278 or whatever that winch, uh, winch is on it. Uh, I can't remember the part number for the winch right offhand. This is their big winch, um, which is fitting, you know, the blazer's bigger, wider, heavier, um, and the bumper's big. So, uh, I wasn't a huge fan. It's got some trophies on it there already from my trail run today. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, especially mounted up how they recommend it. So just getting into it. Um, I bought everything. The RC four-wheel drive, if you go to their website, recommends that you need to properly mount it. And I believe number three is the is the aluminum mount or even the plastic mount uh, that they recommend for mounting the, the their winch bumper on the Blazer. And that's this one right here. Uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the one they recommend uh, for the front bumper. Um, it looks terrible, uh, using this mount that they recommend. Okay. And I, I'm going to put this on here, um, and show you guys what I mean. This is the number three mount. Okay. That RC four wheel drive recommends. This is the one that they recommend to mount the rear with. This is a plastic version of it that I had. I've got the aluminum one on there now. Um, but this is the, this is, it's number two is what they recommend that you mount the rear bumper with. And then, I don't know, this is the straight, this is like comes on the Marlin and stuff. Um, I stole this one off my Forerunner because I ended up liking this one the most. Uh, and my, one of the guys I'm friends with, Metal Gear RC, uh, he was talking to me, he thought it made it look like it was mounted up too high, but. Uh, with this mount, you get a lot more clearance if you're actually trailing stuff. Um, so this mount, this mount's going to give you the utmost clearance with everything. You have to do a little modifications you, uh, to clear your uh, steering servo in the front. You, I didn't need to grind that one down, but I had to grind this one down a little bit to get it tucked up in, uh, which I don't really care. I don't mind modifying parts, uh, especially if it benefits performance-wise. Uh, so this is the straight bumper that I was using in, in the little short videos. If anybody follows the channel has been watching them videos that are on there. Uh, so we're going to stop this video here and I'm going to do a little, um, mount up of, uh, you know, with the one that they recommend first, the number three, and then I'm not even going to waste my time mounting it up with the number two because it puts the it puts the bumper in, it, it looks ridiculous puts it in a bind up front and pushes down on it so uh we're going to we're going to start with the one that they recommend i'm going to go ahead and mount it, mount it up off camera for you guys and then we'll be back okay okay guys there there is the RC four wheel drive bumper uh mounted up with the proper the mount that RC four wheel drive says that you need and i'm going to zoom in here um, you see it hangs just a little bit below your front fender. Um, you know, this is just kind of a big, you know, if you're an off-road guy, you know, that you, you want your bumpers up, um, you know, higher. So that is not what you want, um, for, for the bumper mounting. And it just looks just absolutely ridiculous with this gap in here. Um, it almost looks like there should be like a filler panel. You know what I mean? This bumper should be lining up with this right here because if you mount an off-road bumper to just about any like, you know, off-road vehicle, you know, you're going to want your lines to match up. So if you look at the pictures on RC four-wheel drive, 
Uh, I just don't see how they got the red blazer on their on their site to, to look proper, um, especially if you're running this winch, because it has to be mounted in the holes that I have this mounted in to proper clearance for your winch, in, in, unless you're going to cut into your body, which I, I'm not cutting my body up like that. But you can see the big stupid gap um, that it gives you right here. It just it looks ridiculous. Uh, so that's with it mounted up. Um, you know, there's a straight on view of it. Um, that's with it mounted up on, on, um, let me pick it up there. I don't know how it's, I mean, you can even see your bumper mounting tabs and everything. That just, it, it, it looks terrible guys. So we're going to move on to the, um, the high mount one next. The, the one that's like for the Marlin and stuff. I'll show you guys how much better it looks like that. So, okay, hold on. Okay, guys, we're back here. This is with the bumper mounted um, using the, like, the Marlin or whatever style, uh, you know, bumper mount. You can see it moves it up, gives you better, gives you better clearance here. Um, you know, if you're, if you're actually off-roading, you know, that gives you a better uh approach angle i guess they say which you're not going to have a good approach angle with a great big winch bumper hanging out there either way um that's why most of the guys you see that are rock crawling you know they're out to with pipe bumpers and stuff um because you know they usually they usually give you you know the big the big the clearance and the uh, departure and approach angles better so um you know if you're in the off-roading and everything you know what i'm talking about so uh, but this is with the, um, the one, the straight bar that I showed you. I'm going to go ahead and do one more. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do it, um, with the, the number two, because you would think the number two would be where you'd want to be and put your right level with everything, because you can see this is the number two in the front and the number three behind it, and you can see the height would difference you would think would be about where you want it to be. But for some reason, this thing just does not, I just cannot get it to mount up there right. Um, it almost put, it just puts it in a bind a little bit. Uh, and I'll show you guys what it looks like with that. It just shoves your bumper down at an angle. So you're either kind of stuck with this one, which is, you know, it hangs down just ridiculously low, uh, how RC four wheel drive got it to look decent in them picks. It must've been how they took the pictures uh, on that red blazer. I have no idea, but I highly prefer this, this one a lot better. Um, like I said, it, it moved it up a little bit, just like one millimeter above your, above your gaps. But man, it, it just, I thought it looked so much better up there and, uh, it doesn't mess with your, approach angles and stuff is bad so i'll hold it up like i did the other one with that bumper mount and we'll try this last one uh and this truck performed great today on the trails with the weight and stuff that i have it set up with in the front so uh there we go guys that's what we got so far i'm gonna move this down to the other one and let you guys and if you go to like the square heads guys on facebook group you'll see that all these guys have this bumper pulled up uh mounted up like that um I guess, you know, for that reason, but let me, let me get the last one, uh, and we'll, we'll get on to it. Okay. There's a zoomed in real quick here, uh, of what it looks like there from that, from that angle. And you can see, see, you get your, you're going to be able to get into your tire more, uh, instead of hitting the bumper and dragging your bumper on the rocks. So, um, okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys. So you see there with the final mount, that's with the rear style mount um on there and you can see how the front bumper this is all bolted down tight i actually think that that's the bumper the sag from the plastic mount so i'm thinking i'm gonna grab the aluminum mount from the back and try it on the front here because this actually looks pretty good if you can keep this mounted up. It's almost perfectly level with your fenders here. So I'm actually going to see if I snag the rear bumper mount off of here and try the aluminum. It does away with the stupid sag um, because that's, that, 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 that's the plastic bumper, I think, mount sagging from the weight. So 
But that one, if you guys are looking at it and you want it to be perfectly level with your fenders, now you are going to lose some uh, approach angle uh, with this right here. So, you know, your bumper is going to hit because it is going to be down lower. But that mount almost works perfect with your um, 